Hello everyone, and my name is Journeyman, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is going to be Pillars of Eternity. Uh, the White March there, that's the expansion that's included with this. Um, yeah, so we're going to be continue, uh, starting up a new um, Let's Play, like I was saying. Uh, I don't know much about this game, I just know this is kind of a good old throwback to kind of the Baldur's Gates games. Uh, in that style of RPG. Um, so, just so you guys know what kind of expect. Um, we're just going to be taking our time with this, no rush or anything, we're not trying to speed through or all that. Um, they do have a story mode option on here in terms of like the difficulty uh, for story time. Um, I, st I still want a little bit of a challenge, um, so we're going to do it in normal mode, uh, nothing too crazy. I've, I've played quite a few RPGs in my, in my past, uh, but nothing quite like this though, so uh, this will be a new experience. Um, I have no idea, I haven't played any of this before. And I'm looking forward to going through it with you. Um, so let's go through. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I honestly haven't seen anything besides play the first mission to make sure everything ran well. And make sure I had no issues with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited for this. The tombstone icon indicates a memorial. These are personalized messages written by our backers. Many of them break the fourth wall. So players desiring complete immersion may wish to avoid clicking on them. So it sounds like that might have been from uh, when they did the Kickstarter for the game. They just like players leave. Um, I believe they just let them leave like messages. And, God, like I said, for the memorials and the gravestones and everything, just threw messages in there for funds. Um, and then just kind of did whatever with it, put it in the game. Okay. Come on, load screen. <laughs> Gotta love it when it drops the frame rate down so far. Finally, for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Okay, does it sound like we're doing too hot? Sounds like we just need some time to rest and uh, let it go from there. Probably hit the dumb button. Okay, so it sounds like we have a big group of people. Oh, that's really weird. Sorry, guys. Stupid pop ups on the phone. Okay, let's customize hero. <laughs> Um, I think we will go, I think we'll go as, um, yeah, we'll do mail, and then, godlike. <laughs> the godlike children of the Keith civilized races, who have been blessed with physical aspects associated with the gods, though something that I consider it a blessing, these aspects... Uh, may take many forms and often come with mystical powers. Burnt head shapes are typical and god and, and godlike are unable to wear protective headgear. It is nearly impossible to find anything that fits. Because of their unusual nature and their inability to reproduce, godlike are often viewed in fear and wonder. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about the top part. Um, we could just go with the classic elf. I don't really want to do human. Human's just too too bland. The mighty, um, if you know how to say this right, let me know. Amoria are the largest of the Keith races and are commonly found in the in or near oceans. Though not truly aquatic, they have many. They have an affinity to uh, for water, and many of their civilizations, such as holy cow, I'm gonna mess up these names a lot just so you guys know. They're at a tidy are based on, uh, naval, on naval dominance. They are known for their unparalleled strength. Okay. 
I don't know. I definitely. I don't think I want to go for kind of straight strength, though. Um. Honestly, I'm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling elf. Elf are the dominant race, and they either are youth, blind faith, and the and the white. The that wins the extra. Holy cow, guys! I am so sorry. That wins an extremely common in the dry wood and uh, a dryer. Elves are known for their speed and intelligence, as well as a com as a commonly isolationist nature. Uh, so dexterity and perception. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. And then pale or wood elf. <laughs> Uh, Wolves trace their beginnings far north to the present day, and have migrated south the forests of the continent, now covering all the way south across the equator. They are also believed to have migrated across the sea to uh, Glyph. Oh, holy cow! Ayr, Lanth, Lanthath. Holy cow! While uh, physiolog physiologically identical to one another, what else are from Ayr? Are culturally different from those. And your clan fifth, and consider themselves wholly different groups. Okay, so from the pale, and it is clear how long ago the pale elves came to the southern polar regions of the world, but they have lived there for the last for at least twelve thousand years, based on the continuous contract or contact with Amumia, Amumia traders. They appear to be among the most stationary ethnic groups in the known world, migrating within the polar region, but seldom venturing far from the north. They are rare in all northern lands, and most people consider them exotic, if they even see one at all. Okay. I have increased burn of frost damage reduction. <laughs> Disadvantage against, an, an, against any enemy that is more than four foot away. What else gain reflex or bonuses to accuracy deflection and reflex? Where do you go? Let's go with the pale elf. That sounds pretty cool. Nobody sees them typically. So let's do that. I'm going to go for complete um, chanter, cipher, a druid. Okay, paladin, priest, ranger, rogue, wizard. The masters of the acad academic magic wizards are students of the arcane traditions that stretch beyond, back beyond the boundaries of recorded history. Wizards are a highly organized group, often forming academies or guilds devoted to research and development and, ma and magical studies, and tend to favor environments where iniquity, experimentation, debate, and the uh, dissemination of knowledge are encouraged. Many accomplished wizards eventually become known for their... Uh, Holy cow. Electro oh, man. I cannot even talk today. Why would you just get that? <laughs> their egos and their unquenchable interest in all things arcane and occult. Starting abilities, arcane assault, mid-range attack that hits a small area for raw damage. You can leave targets dazed. And then spells. I don't think it has anything in particular for spell-wise. What I'm thinking is... Okay, paladins are a martial zealots devoted to a god, a ruler, or even a way of life. They can be found in any culture where a fanatical group, like-minded individuals have formed a warrior society dedicated to advancing their cause. Among these aligned to the among those aligned to their worldview, paladins are viewed with respect and admiration, if a bit of fear. Many paladins hold leadership positions in armies and mercenary companies, but in the heart, in the heat of battle, their fanaticism often overrules the chain of command and common sense. Uh, this, sound, this still sounds a little crazy. I don't, know, I don't know if crazy is the right word. Spells. Uh, Animalists at heart, druids tap into the spiritual power that flows through the simplest living things. If you of Yura, plants, animals, and sometimes even living stone. While not necessarily religious, druids 
do have a reverence for natural world for the natural world and a keen interest in understanding its mysteries in most cultures druids are understood as sort of a primal magician but among the the fans, oh dude holy cow the nasty cue and many rural cu uh, cultures they have a high position of influence and authority okay it's not it's not bad okay <laughs> let's see priests are devotees of your steady deities and practitioners of religious magic while all priests dedicate themselves to a specific god priest power is actually derived from the personal beliefs in contrast to most paladins priests tend to focus on philosophy teaching and the relationship of of religious organizations with common folk. The reception of priests in any given part of the world depends largely on how the god is revered or re reviled by the people who live there. Starting abilities, holy radiance, generates a modest amount of endurance for allies around the priest. Any enemies, any enemy vessels caught in the area take burn damage and may be frightened. Over the course of the game, the power of this ability may shift based on the reputations of the priests gains relative to the behaviors that are performed by his or her deity. And the priests also have access to a variety of support and some offensive-oriented spells. Every two levels, priests automatically gain access to additional set of spells. Initially, their spells can be cast a limited number of times per rest. As priests gain power, their weaker spells eventually shift to, uh, to per-encounter use. Okay. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go priest. Yeah, let's do that. And then our priest deity. Called Bireth. And uh, Adrian. And Cicero. And Vadian. It is the god of cycles, of doors, of life, and of death itself. People commonly place or carve a figure of... A bereth in doorways, windows, or other portals from one place to another. Breath has a relatively small priesthood, in part because it does not oft uh, speak often to them. However, Breath has many, many uh, petaneers and occasionally followers. Okay. Favorite position, stomach rational, passionate, cruel, or disfavorable ones. Etho uh, Ethos. Is there a name for the god of light, uh, redemption, and rebirth? While worship of, in of Ethosa is still popular in the Asian Empire, and let's see, and the Risarius, the faith is outlawed in most cities of the dry wood uh, due to the events of the Saint's War, in which the Saint uh, Wyvin, a white wind, who had supposedly become a living vessel for Ethosa. Attempted to invade the dry wood before destroying at being destroyed at the gates of the Hoga Citadel. Okay. My grand is the goddess of war and fire, and hers is the most populous following the dry wood. Uh, Margrin's faithful are ranked and filed soldiers rank fi rank and file soldiers as well as officers, tacticians, strateg and strategists. And Additionally, they create devices used in warfare, especially those made in the forge, such as weapons and armors. Her priests view battle and warfare as inevitable human activities that should be pursued with single-minded efficiency. Uh, consequently, she is not a goddess of battle, of battle lust or celebration, as much as a military excellence of passion disciple. Okay. And then... Uh, skin, known as the Quiet Slave, is a god of secret hatred, resentment, and violent rebellion. He is usually depicted as a small, bald man covered with lash scars whose ears and nose have been cut off. His, he appears outwardly submissive with downcast eyes. However, his eyes glitter black with quiet hatred, and his fist is clenched. He is known to manifest in a horrific incarnation known as the Effigy. To followers, disparate uh, desperate enough to perform certain unspeakable rites, and drywood skins fa uh, faithful often double as torturers and executions, delighting in the in a fall of high status prisoners. And then a whale, a whale, 
is a god of dreams, secrets, mysteries, and revelations. Inscrutable even to other gods, Will has no determinate gender or consistent appearance. Its symbols is its eyes, though though the look and number of the eyes often change. People pray to Will both to protect their secrets as well as to unravel the mysteries in front of them. Followers of Will are known for their many strange and unusual practices, possibly for the good reason, possibly for no reason at all. Okay. I think it was... I kind of lean towards that, but then went honest. Okay. Is that the flavor? No? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Nice. And then, highly recommended for priests. So let's throw in that. <laughs> Same thing with. Ooh. Same thing with that. Recommended for priests. We'll throw two in there. And then we kind of got... And we'll just throw that, that, and... Let's go one more into my... Okay. That's good. Culture. Holy cow, man. It's currently the largest, most powerful force in this part of the world. It is centered around the equator and its tropical climate. Though the empire has colonies in numerous areas of the world, Greater uh, Idra is, uh, is at its heart and houses the majority of the human and elven nations. Okay. <laughs> Defar, consisting of a nation of Anasku, dozens of... Among these settlements and hundreds of lawless pirate infested islands that stretch along the southern sea, Devar is home to the borrowed dwarfs, uh, Arua, and a mixed variety of other uh, races. Devar Archipelago is the last stop for anyone uh, headed east. A multitude of monstrous sea creatures infest the ocean beyond, making travel virtually impossible. That is more, I believe, the second one's based on. Okay. The ex... Holy... I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try, guys. Located to the northeast of either Glanfeth, the plains are a large expanse of fertile savannas that are extensively farmed by human and Orland residents. Uh, the culture is one of the oldest in the world, though one of the least imperialistic having spread out little over the past several thousand years. Okay. Ooh, look at that mace. <laughs> the old Avila. Once the crown uh, jewel was a southern seas, Ovila is now a crumbled remnant of the empire of a warning of a weaning mer mer warring merchant nations, counting many humans and dwarves among their ranks. The old Avilian uh, countries are still forces to be reckoned with and are proud of their rich cultural heritage. The Red City, dominated by the Aruma nation of the Aratini, the Gulf itself is the host to a number of nations, most of them Aruma, Orlin, or Dwarven, though these countries are relatively young. They are some of the most advanced uh, colonial colonials <laughs> settlements in the east the gulf is the land of the riches and resources for those who can take them though the entire coast is often pummeled by violent storms the living lands is a mountainous area with a large northern island renowned for its diversity of plant and animal life its weather is unpredictable its ecosystem very dramatical from valley to valley the living lands are home to an assortment of races and a variety of colonial and independent settlements and then, spear, spear. The white that went, that wins. A large cracked southern expanse of the polar ice. The white that wins is a home place of pale elves and small colonies. Um, daring explorers, outcasts, and adventurers. While virtually no plant life grows in the white, it is home to many hardy species of species of dangerous animals that for, forage from the sea and prey upon or prey upon each other for survival. And we're actually gonna go we're gonna go with this. Just because we're the pale orf we wanna or pale orf. We're the pale um elf and we wanna kinda meet where we're we're at. K 
Okay, so aristocrat, you've lived your life amongst the nobility. Your days have been marked by lavish meals and extravagant parties. Your conversations pe uh, peppered with talks of pedigree and bloodlines. Uh, explorer, you find the sign recall of the horizon irresistible. You cannot help but wonder what lies beyond the next hill or wave. You have built your life around finding out. Okay. Laborer, your life has been spent in the study of your craft. You trained and prepared, hoping to hone your skills and uh, ply, ply your trade. Let's see, Mystic. You've never been able to explain how the universe guides your path. Behind every task you undertake is a feeling of cosmic direction. Okay. Drifter, you never quite fit in no matter where you go. Each new town is just a place to rest briefly before moving on to the next. You are more comfortable on the road traveling the world. Hunter, you live for the thrill of the chase, whether for glory or for subsistence. You have made your living taking the lives of wild creatures. And then merchant, you've traded goods from all over the world, uh, pairing items with buyers of all kinds. I think I'm going to go with Mystic. I'm, li I'm liking that one the most, and kind of what we're going for here. I'm, I'm liking it more. Holy cow. You know what? We're going to make this simple. I'm not going to sit here and go through them all, because we'll be here forever. Primary colors. Okay. Um. Secondary. Those are my pants. Skin. How pale do I want to be? I like that color, actually, to start with. Started this out with. Here. Here we go. It's too close to what uh, our actual hair looks like. Or what a skin looks like, I mean, that or hair. There. Oh. Oh, man. Can we zoom in here? I don't think we can. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, we gotta see what other kind of hairstyles they have. Or do they have the hairstyles first? Okay. I think I like that one a little bit more. And then... We're just going all sorts of burly here. Oh, the emo hair flick? Oh, yeah. Crazy hair. I think we're gonna go with. I actually wouldn't be bad. Let's just do the basic. Yeah, there's nothing crazy with it. Let's do that. Okay. Do we... Can we hear it? Am I just not hearing it? Let's do... Let's just go with that. Oh. Oh, man. And then we're just not going to go with the, the crazy John. Because why not? Okay. That was, that was weird. Okay. I don't know why I keep taking this to that page. There we go. John the Elf. Hell off. New quest. The Gilded Veil. Journey to the Gilded Veil. <laughs> there we are. All our friends. The caravan Master Odin. The caravan master finishes addressing the group. His bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. 
He nods towards a loomy black mass on the hillside. The whole area is crawling with hut-dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rock, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless <laughs> you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. Nice. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Uh, he nods in your direction. As Sparfield nods and slides the warm bow over his shoulder. They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Yeah, it's with the wick. Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Not if you hurry about your business. And not if the weather holds up. This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here time to time. Hmm. Locals call it a beowick. Born out of the ether. The spirit's path. Never seen it myself. Never care to. Okay. They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. Uh -huh. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes on a, at length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman who has spent the journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without a blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up at her he own time. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. <laughs> what kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. <laughs> Aiden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Okay. You heard the man. Let's get going. Awesome. What you need? over. Hmm? Oh, I might want to get them both. Okay, what can the pillars of eternity? If this is your first visit to the world of, you know, um, you may want to watch these vi watch these windows become familiar with the tools and interfaces available to you. Okay. Nice. So it's something like we got to get berries. Your party always consists of your character and up to five additional companions or adventurers. While the caravan is camped outside the Aglafian ruins, uh, Omega has assigned uh, Kaliska. Uh, to help you. Kaliska is a fighter, a class that exceeds in close quarter combat's defense. Uh, use your abilities to complement your own. Okay? 
uh, to select party member, click on this uh, selection circle at their portrait. So down here. What you need? Yes. Get their abilities. Um, to the position of the party, starting with one at the bar or at the left. To select multiple party members, click and hold anywhere. Oh. Ooh, most people you would count on the world are neutral or friendly. You can interact with them by clicking uh, on their circle. Many of the characters will simply go and greet you, uh, but others will have a longer conversation to explore. The, the merchant, uh, he has a conversation that opens a store with equipment for sale. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So let's see. So just like that, they just have the basic conversation there. So you're going to... So I find it funny that he's gonna make me go get my own berries when I'm like over here struggling. Oh, uh, let's see. Just take all that. Caravaner. I'm looking to see if I can find this person that he was telling me about. Right. Anyone oh, need supplies? Here we go. This dude I right here. You see a man wearing a simple, uh, mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by the ragged terror in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered with uneven stubble, as if he hasn't quite gotten used to shaving on the road. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Uh, yeah, sure, let's take a look here what you got. Okay, um... So we you trade and sell your items for copper pieces or items in your stores in the store's merchant uh, inventory. We'll just buy items for you at greatly reduced price. If you sell something, you may see it appear in a store's inventory with a much higher cost. Stores periodically refresh their inventories. Okay, we got a hundred gold or uh, copper pieces. Um, shoot. We got a piglet for some reason. A ring. Um, lock picks. <laughs> Clothing. Okay. For right now, we're just going to kind of keep it as is. I'm not really going to worry about switching that out. Switch is key to the pillars of eternity. As you make your way through the eastern reach, op uh, open the area map and you'll see the parts of the map you've already explored and what's left to explore. Okay? I think M is, yep, M is the area map. Okay. Ooh, crap. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, perfect. Hello. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Okay, thank you. Um. Let's see. What can we find? Let's check by those outcroppings. Ooh, ooh. Pillow Turby uses uh, combat uses a possible real time strategy because you will often manage more than one character at a time. It's a good idea to pause the game, issue orders, and resolve real time to see what the orders play out. The option menu also contains many choices for automatic uh, pausing while certain conditions are met, or when certain conditions are met. Okay. Nice. Okay. So. Oh, he has a bunch of different spells. Holy cow, look at this. And then... Mm -hmm. One of your characters has been engaged in melee combat. <laughs> or engaged in melee. When characters are engaged, they immediately stop moving. If they move again, they will provoke a disengagement attack from your enemy, engaging them. When the enemy is engaging them, your character will automatically engage enemies when they initiate attacks against them with melee weapons. Okay, cool. All your characters in the game, friend and foe, have four primary defensive against attacks. Deflection, fortitude, reflex, and will. These defenses are based on the character's attributes, level, items, and other effects. Accuracy is compared to the appropriate defense. It's compared to the appropriate defenses when an attack is made. If accuracy is below the target defense, the attack sustains a penalty to roll to the roll and is more likely to result in a miss. If accuracy is above the target defense, the attack is more likely to hit a crit. Okay. 
Perfect. Self-explanatory. Damage reduction. Enemies DR reduces the incoming attack or damage by the listed by the listed amount down to the minimum percentage. If you are having difficulty hurting an enemy, try switching to a weapon or attack that uses a different damage type. Most enemies who are strong attack against one or two types of damage or we get against a similar number. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Kill the young wolf. <laughs> Hide be good. This is it. Ooh. Really? I was meant I didn't mean to go over here and like find that immediately. As you receive quests, your journal will be updated with relevant information. If you ever get stuck, open it up and review your notes. You're kind of the spiritual sword. Oh, uh, I can't fish for time. They got my way, spiritual spiritual my life. I was an extent. Yeah? How's it happened to you to come here? Or how has it happened to come here? Uh, have vision at seven here. People try to use me to their own ends. I need the anonymity. I was accused of heresy. Accused of heresy. Had of the lifestyle, I suppose. You had to expect it was po you had to expect it was a possibility. No matter how much you didn't want to be that way. Uh, raising her surroundings. Been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Razik's offer, Lord Razik's offer, makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle, like the rest of the lot? It's hard to pass up an offer. No, I'm just passing through. That's what we're gonna go with. That's usually the case with the with the big city, just under the little ways further up the road. Where are you heading? You know, we're specialists pretty much the same as I can. Oh, I'm going to continue onto the city, see where it takes me. I'll probably wander for a while. We'll probably wander for a while. I couldn't judge you for that. Been half my life. Just watch yourself. You get too far off the beaten path, and these lands are wild. In more ways than one. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. A mill will give me a year full. Let's be on our way. Why are you here? My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried, but that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work and whatever that place is, but I do anything for her. She's well. Sh she's well. She's much better than one of me. So I'm here, and we'll see. I'll. Uh, Amiya, I've worked with before. He doesn't usually drive the route this way, but he's doing it for me. Yeah, let's hear about yourself. I got simple needs. I like to open skies. I like open skies and far horizons. I work with... The I work. I find work that lets me live that way. My family met wanders too. We started the driveway, but my parents ended up in the living lands. I got a brother in Arati and another in Idri. Or Idri. My sister is in the, guide in the guided veil. Or gate, holy cow, gated veil, and she's the only real homebody. Uh, can you tell me about Dragwood? I'm not much for history, but what I do, it used to be part of the other empire. Broke off a broke off after a year, some years back, or after a war, some years back. The locals here are are fancy, and that's how they like it. I've been out of touch, but I've been hearing weird kind of things about it lately. People are having trouble giving birth, I guess. A lot of them been going on for years now, but somehow it's getting worse. With an easy tremor in her voice, she adds, I have to ask my sister more about it. Okay. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Spring is getting the you water in time soon. He does what he feels and when he feels like it. We should check up on him first, sap around a little. Streams a little down that way. Come on, let's get your water. I agreed. We need to get our own water. Can't trust other people to do it for us. What is this? Um, okay, ingredients. Burn lady added to stash. Burn lady must be a type of plant? I'm assuming. Just check and look here, see what we can find. If there's anything in particular we could use. Um, bridge here. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skin. 
You crutch the riverbank. You crutch at the... <laughs> Wow. You crutch to the riverbank. You dip your water skin into the cool water. Unless the sky waits nearby. Keep your watch. As you raise your nose, her look up sharply towards the tree line. You have gained an item. Quest. Full water sack added to stash. Out of the tree emerges a spiffle. One of the guides, barely uh, discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there are strangers in his gait. His stride wobbly as he moves towards you with bre uh, labor breath. Sparfo, are you all right? Sparfo toes catches a rock and he collapses forward in the heap. The feathered shaft of the arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Bandits, dude. Ambush. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, let's do... So do that. And then I'm gonna actually have you go... There. Oh? Uh do that. Sometimes a weapon or spell simply isn't well suited for penetrating armored enemies defense uh, damage reduction. When an attack hits, the damage reduction wipes out all the small wipes out all but a small percentage of the incoming damage. You hear a character complain about complain about it when it happens. Take heed. Note that the damage type that's being blocked is switched to a weapon or spell that does a different damage type. Okay. Ooh, dead son. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can we... Well, I'm not going to worry about that, actually. For a second. Get the bow and our hide armor. Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to go with that. Yeah, we're just gonna keep everybody as is, I think. It's probably the smart thing to do. Certainly. Is there any more in the area? Footprints around the campfire are indistinct. They may have been here for days or longer. The camp itself looks like it's been there for days. So he's so he must have just been a guide. Or he was just a guide. So he wasn't anybody really to us. Okay. Um, let's just keep looking. We're not. We're in no rush. Uh, we're definitely gonna take our time with this and kind of just explore everything. See what we can find. But I don't think we could go any further down there. Let's go over here. Okay. Deer. Yeah. Again, I don't think there's gonna be anything down here. Ooh, but we do have some bodies. The corpse is cold to the touch, and it smells, uh, and a ripe smell wafts uh, in the pure waves. A dark curse of bloodstain, uh, riches his clothes. Okay, let's do that. And then, what is... Hmm? Okay, guys, come over here. Oh? Okay, no, I can't select it. Okay. That's fine. And the body, the deer, like, completely disappeared. Okay. Um, we really have it explored for the most part. Yeah, let's head back to the campground. See what they want us to do next. Ooh, crap, more bandits. Okay. Um... Don't you just left? I have nothing left? Seriously? Oh, shoot. Okay. Yes? So I knew that too. Oh. 
There we go. There we go. Come on, man. Get back up. Get back up. You got this. Actually, I'm gonna have you go. Okay, never mind. It's not the person I meant to grab onto. Crap. Come on. Take him out. There you go. Okay. There you go. Certainly. Just take all that. Take all that. Of course. All around you lie all around you lies massacre remains of the other travelers peppered with arrows and knife hilt sprayed with bug eye and filthy. Kaliska pulls the back of her huffed hand to her mouth as if the water waste of poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands up about the fallen, treading on limbs and backs of heads, jerking their axes from the bodies as if they half split logs. One of them towering severs a thick bearded tussle with knots, holds a wet blade up to the neck of the man who recognizes he don't <laughs> the last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not, do not forfeit this man's life. For your fight, you will lose. Oh, uh, let's see. Why have you done this? The ruin has not been swayed by our hands. We have not trips we wish to pass through. I don't know what you did, but you didn't have to do anything with it. Murderers, you will pay for your life. That's what we're gonna do. Death will by the gods is not murder, but righteous. You have tr transferred to the places of the. Of which no mortal man is worthy. That which is never paid. So I see again. Lay down your arms. Uh, only fools attack the weak. With a stronger one yet li lives. Don't trust them. They mean to kill us. We are innocent. No. That's not going to get us anything. Put down your weapons. Very well. Let's go. Let's try the might. Let's make it serious. Let's looking you up and down. Hmm. Yet. He shows him to torture when he does so. The man takes takes rake his blade against the man rakes his blade against his toes. Uh he then screams and stumbles forward, a white gash on his clothing beginning to bloom crimson. The man sets his feet to engage his axe raised high. Okay. Let's do this. Do that, and then you want to do your blinding strike there. Oh. Okay. Win. We don't want to. Yeah, we don't really need anything. Your enemy lies spine. Uh, supine on the ground, on the to rise, his companions now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in, wheezing, fitful gasp. He doesn't look at you, but looks at the skies above you. Forgive us. Bear the eyeball beneath its choked sighs. A whisper of the s a whisper of the wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric, volatile, upending pots and the rattling tents that make you like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin, where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rendering you apart from within. Settled against a wagon amidst the howling maelstorm, slashed across the chest and bow. A wind's body stirs. With great effort, he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open. He looks Get directly inside. at you. Run! Thank you. So let's get in here. This is not looking good for any of us. What the? Straining against the gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands on the worn folds of the weathered rock and set about pulling yourself to up the uh, precepts. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. 
when it trails behind you, slowly, slowly slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rock, one of the fallen attackers who have been a fainting death lunges at for Hiren and topples him onto the rocky ground. They're close. Oh, restrained. Owen lashes out against his fatigue assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you, despite the wind from your position. If you were to throw, throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance of hitting him. Uh, throw your weapon. Your aim is true, and the, the hit, uh, hits, the hit jars he did loose. Lurching to his feet, he then clumbers up at the base of the rock as he nears the top. Wherever the wind flares, pulling up sideways, tearing his feet free. But diving out of the hard, onto the hard rock, he managed to catch a hold of it, securing his other hand. You pull up with waning strength, and it feels as so though your arms may be jerked out of their sockets. They hold just long enough for, for uh, Heaton uh, to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There is a deep resound to the swirling wind now. You feel like the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest as though it were the sake of mer it would shake the marrow from your bone. Each new guest gasped menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections and settling balances as you dart beneath the old archway. The entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Holy cow. Was that just all happening because of where they're at? Is the area? Oh. Was that? Came down. A Buick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. Yeah, we are. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Can you walk? Hershaw Titans. He nods. Okay. So we completed our first oh. quest. We made it into the tunnels here. Into this cave area. Uh, I have no idea what to even expect in here. Uh, let's hop into the menu here real fast. Um, inventory. You can switch to a new weapon by selecting the weapon icon from the individual character bar. So... Standard tech, cancel. Stronghold, escape, journal. Journal. Uh, okay. Don't worry about those yet. Escape the ruins. Uh, journey to the gate of Vale. Okay. Then, do I have points to give? I don't think so, actually. I I don't think I'm there yet. Okay, what is your weapon? What are you using? Battle axe. Damage 13, 19. Whoa, 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 what? Okay, never mind, never mind. What are you using? So you get double dagger. I feel like you would be a good ranger. Oh, but these need bows? I don't know if I do. I'm gonna give you that. How fortunate would it be if you couldn't actually use it? I have no idea. Okay. Well, guys, we're gonna actually call it here. I think it's the perfect place to stop today. We customized your character when you completed the first mission. Um, that was awesome. I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to checking it out and seeing what this is about. Um, and I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to doing it as well. Um, and that we have a lot of fun going through this. Um, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you get a chance, hit the bell to ring for notifications as well so you know exactly when these levels or when these uh, videos are going up. And so you can keep in touch with what's going on. So guys, I thank you so much for your time today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time as we continue our journey uh, through the pillars of eternity. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Bye.